And today I'm bringing you a search and destroy game from League Play. This was from ages ago. This is a video I should have made months and months ago, but because of the amount of editing work it required to cut the video length down, and trust me, I have cut the video length down quite a lot, a game that goes to the limit in search and destroy, especially on Black Ops 2, can take a while. It's just one of those things, it's just the way the game plays out. The number of rounds when you've got 11 rounds of a search and destroy game it's a long video it's a lot of editing work to get it down to this level and i wanted to leave in as much of the gameplay as possible because the whole point of this sort of video when you're highlighting somebody's gameplay and what they did and didn't do in a game is all about the gameplay even though at 02 and oliver getting killed there it doesn't look like it's going to be the best gameplay in the world but trust me this actually was a really good gameplay for Oliver. This was a really good search and destroy game. And I was very, very happy to hop in his backpack. Because for whatever reason, I had an absolute nightmare search and destroy game in this game. I did atrociously badly. I got annihilated. And I'm quite happy to say that. It happens in search and destroy. Your timings are off. Something's not quite right. Something doesn't work. And you struggle. Now, when that happens to me and I'm really, really struggling... The one thing I concentrate on is calling out for my teammates, sound whoring for my teammates, and trying my best to assist them even though I'm already dead, or doing my best to act as bait while I'm still alive. If I can't win gunfights because of either connection or I'm having problems, then the best thing I can do is help my teammates. It's not sit there and complain about the fact that I can't kill people. The best thing to do when you're struggling is to help your teammates who aren't struggling to do better. Now, Oliver in this game carried me amazingly well. Uh, so I thought I'd post this as a little thank you to Oliver for carrying me through not just this, but quite a few Search and Destroy games since we've been playing together. Now, I'm not the worst Search and Destroy player in the world, and I do do reasonably well, and I do have my moments. But some games, I'll admit, I struggle. I run into people that are much better than me, and I do struggle. Oh, I got final kill in that round. Yeah. One of my four kills in this game. But <laughs> when I do struggle, I got people like Oliver and Elliot to fall back on to help me out. And I do a lot better. Also, I mean, I have carried Oliver in Search and Destroy myself on a few occasions when he's struggling with connection. I've carried Elliot on a few occasions when he's struggling with connection. And that's what your teammates do. When one of you is struggling, the other one steps up, hopefully. And you get through the game and you win. You know, you're not all going to struggle at the same time. So sometimes it's a kind of case that I carry Oliver. More often than not, though, it's a case that Oliver carries me because Oliver is much better than me, and I'll quite happily admit that. But it is quite nice when I do carry him for in for a change. I've got footage of a lovely game on Meltdown in which he went did really badly and I did really well that I posted on my channel. And that's the thing. Because it's my channel, I'm going to post games generally where I do well. It's just human nature. You're not going to post game after game where you do really badly. I have in the past posted a capture the flag game in which I had a really horrendous start and went still went negative at the end, but had a good time capping flags and doing my bit for the team. This game, 
I'll quite happily post even though I do terrible because I've posted enough League Play games with a skewed view of me where I do well and Oliver Elliott struggle because on the whole generally those two guys are better than me so generally when it's search and destroy I will hold my own and do my bit but they will do quite a lot of the heavy lifting and as you can see we're being pulled back into this game not through anything I'm doing the random teammate we had actually didn't do too badly or he didn't do as badly as me but the main reason we're getting pulled into this game and even having a chance at this stage is because Oliver is doing so well as you can see he's having to go clutch and he's having to win 2v1s and things like that to drag us and keep us in the game now he has got his streaks in which makes it a lot more easy once you've got your streaks in search and destroy obviously you've got an advantage and Oliver uses his streaks to the maximum effect now Oliver uses the hellstorm to clear out the bomb site and then it leaves us free to push up but he has to go reasonably clutch in this round as I think there we go no, that was me yeah that was me getting sniped I did have a nightmare game in this game but Oliver manages to get the bomb planted and he's desperately trying to hold on to that lightning strike because he knows we've got to win two rounds now Oliver gets quite lucky here is our teammate lets the bad guy in the bomb site from the other entrance that Oliver's not watching but the guy's so engrossed in his gunfire with our teammate he doesn't know it's Oliver so that's all right Oliver picks up the final kill goes to 5-5 five five. now even though Oliver's got a lightning strike we weren't expecting this to be easy the other team had proved to be a decent search and destroy team and most of them were master division players so you'd expect them to know that Oliver had a lightning strike and usually when teams know you have a lightning strike they'll push brown camp in there and wait until the lightning strike and then make a late push for the bomb however they didn't they left themselves wide open for it Oliver picks up a three piece and that's game over Oliver goes 21 for six and it's just time for me to say that's all and thank you very much for watching